This video is presented with the help of Renline. Consider their radiator protection grill screen kits for your water-cooled Porsche. Welcome back to PCA's Garage. Today we kind of have an easy DIY maintenance project. We have this 97 Boxster and what we're going to do is we're gonna remove the bumper and get into and behind this vent here to clean out all the debris that may have collected in front of the radiators. Uh, the reason being you wanna do that is much like uh, being fall out here uh, in the Northeast, lots of debris gets collected in there and if you don't clear it out, what happens over time is all of that debris will actually break down and become acidic and actually attack your aluminum radiators. And um, what will happen down the road is you'll probably get a pinhole leak. That's a very expensive uh, repair. So you wanna make sure that you clean this out and clean it thoroughly. While we're at it, we're probably gonna get this bumper resprayed. Um, the previous owner must have scuffed this up a couple places here. Um, during this process, we're gonna also take out the headlights. So we'll show you how to do that. And then of course these uh, grills here have seen better days. And what we'll do is we'll remove them, repaint them, or you could even replace them. You can buy them uh, for about $85 each if you'd like, but we're just gonna uh, sand them down and we're going to repaint them. So the first step is going to be locating the headlight removal tool. And what you wanna do is just simply remove the wing nut from your spare tire, lean it forward. You'll find your tool kit there and inside of it, put this back will be this headlight removal tool right there you could also use a socket of the same size but i like using this and what we'll do is we'll remove these pieces here you have it so here you'll find the retaining clip end which fits our little tool here. Simply put in, rotate it clockwise. You'll hear it click. That means it's removed from the headlight. Simply move the headlight forward. Give it a couple of wiggles. And out comes your headlight. Now, if you were just replacing bulbs and such, you can do so by seeing that clip there and then getting to whatever headlight bulb you need to replace. I'll just set that aside. So for the driver's side, you're actually gonna do the same process, but you're gonna go counterclockwise until you hear the little click. There you go. So we thought we might show you this in the event that you're wondering what color your car is or your Boxster is. It's labeled right here, Arctic Silver Metallic, right on the frame. Our next step will be to remove this plastic trim cover here. Simply take a flathead screwdriver, give it a quarter turn, and it'll lift up, quarter turn, quarter turn. All right, and everything should be able to come loose. Just pops right, be careful, hold on to these. They tend to fly. Now, as you can see, this car is pretty old and um, if you like, you could order a new piece here so it sits nice and flush, but these falling apart is actually quite common. Our next step is going to be removing these side marker lights. I believe these are aftermarket. This little clip here clips inside of there. Um, what I like to do is I use, just use a small screwdriver and actually I go through the headlight side and I just push with my screwdriver to sort of push this in and it just pops out real easily. Once it's popped out, then what you'll want to do is just simply turn counterclockwise to release the bulb from the housing and just kind of let it hang there. Next, we're going to remove the screws that are holding the end of the bumpers. And one screw here on the outside, super easy to get to. One that's not so easy to get hold of is a screw that's holding the very end of the bumper. 
which is going up from inside the fender. So you'll need to remove these fasteners. Hopefully you have a fastener removal tool, which is like sort of a fork that gets in there and pops it out. Or I just use these curved needle nose pliers, works as well. Peel the fender liner back. Some people take the wheel off, makes it a little bit easier, but we're just gonna go in here and you'll have access to the screw right there. So just get your screwdriver in there. Screws right out. Make sure you grab this little washer here. Don't lose that, you'll need that for later. Now with both screws removed, the top of the bumper is loose. And now what we'll do is we'll go around the bottom and take out all the fasteners on the bottom. Two Phillips screws removed from the bottom on this side and this bumper is now quite loose. The last step for this bumper removal is removing the two top screws. Once you remove the two screws at the top, you'll want to hold on to the bumper. I suggest starting from one end to kind of open the, the bumper up a little bit. And you'll see that it'll come off. Just be careful, make sure nothing's hanging up. Make sure you didn't forget a screw but it kind of pops off pretty easily. And there you have it. This piece here is the only piece that might be attached to your bumper. So just be sure to remove it. More than likely it's already fallen off being the age of this car, but it sits right here in this grill. And, you can, and it's a rubber piece, you just simply push it back and then everything comes off. Upon initial inspection, you definitely see some leaves in there. Not a whole lot. Some people would just simply um, put their shop vac and kind of vacuum it out, but I like to be pretty thorough. There's about five Torx screws here, and you can just take this plastic piece off. So I'm just gonna do that to make sure we do a good job. Okay, now that the Torx screws are off, let's take this cover and see what we find. Ooh, look at that. All right, so it didn't look like there was much initially, but when you take these panels off, look at what you find. This is obviously more recent leaves. These have been here for a while. Look at that decomposed. Even got a little butterfly moth. But yeah, you wanna go through now with the, so see here, all of these can break down and become acidic and uh, attack this aluminum. And that's a bad thing, obviously. Let's see what the driver's side has in store for us. Whoa. Yep. Look at that. Didn't look so bad, but look at all of that. So, like I said, it's definitely worth it. Five screws to take this off because you're gonna see everything as opposed to just sticking your um, vacuum back there and blindingly trying to vacuum it all out. So now's a good time to just inspect and see if there's any damage. And uh, look at this, at a high rate of speed, I guess it entered in and lodged itself there, but I think it just killed a couple of fins, but no big deal. So to take these grills off, you're going to have to pop some tabs. There's a tab here, lift up, and that'll pop out. Then you have to move this tab back. These little flat blade screwdriver to help you. That pops out. These tabs here, what you have to do is kind of press down on them. 
that one pops out. Press down. There you go. So now what you can do is clean them up, sand them, prime them, paint them, put some clear, and they'll look as good as new. Thank you.